have evolved through history and survived to become the dominant species on planet Earth because of the ingenuity, creativity and adaptability of materials discovered that each stage of human evolution is named after them. The first discoveries were made in what we today call the Stone Age. They also manipulated the most common material, copper ore, which they smelted to produce basic metals. This was the Bronze Age. This marked the onset of the Iron Age, the last major prehistoric change in human civilization, in which the manipulation of materials played a key role. One of the remarkable inventions that changed human history in the Iron Age was the plow. Men learned that soft iron could be heated and then quickly cooled to make an instrument hard enough to plow the earth. Soon, men learned to manipulate these materials in increasingly sophisticated ways to build empires of great strength and beauty. They have engineered and re-engineered nature to suit their livelihoods and communities. And this is evident in giant ancient structures, still breathtaking in their magnificence. The ancient pyramids in Egypt, the Great Wall of China, and the tall structures of temples, palaces, and cities in ancient Anuradhapura and Polonnaruwa. They all display the intelligence of our race in manipulating the environment to suit our needs, even defying the test of time. Today, we're in the age of materials. Steel and various metals Super hybrid alloys, advanced ceramics, plastics and rubber that take the human race to the depths of the Earth's core and the heights of outer space. Skyscrapers that pierce the clouds, ever smaller silicon microchips, more efficient electronic material. Thus, material science and engineering is arguably the most important discipline today. Work and study in the fields of material science and engineering is grounded in an understanding of why materials behave the way they do and encompasses how materials are made and how new ones can be developed. In Sri Lanka, the foremost provider of material science and engineering knowledge is the University of Morotua. The university specializes in engineering and technology and is possibly the best university in Sri Lanka today. The university prides itself in having the best engineering faculty in Sri Lanka while aiming to produce technically sound, self-confident, flexible and internationally recognized quality graduates who are able to realize their true potential through studying together and thereafter working together as professionals, the university has a far-reaching vision and mission. The Department of Material Science and Engineering of the University of Morotua is at present the only academic body in Sri Lanka offering undergraduate studies in material science and engineering. Professor A.R.T. De Silva was appointed founder professor of the department. The degree in materials engineering began in April 1974 when a department of applied sciences was established within the faculty of engineering of Katubadda campus University of Sri Lanka to conduct honors degree courses in three new specializations one of which was metallurgy and ceramics dealing with metals, ceramics and polymers used in engineering. 
I was appointed as founder professor and the first batch of students passed out four years later in September 1978. A British aid funded program with Leeds University gave most of the external support needed to ensure that the degree course was to international standards. During the period from 1979 to 1981, the course content became more engineering based and as a result, the name of the department was changed to Materials Engineering in 1981 and subsequently to its present name, the Department of Materials Science and Engineering. Materials Science and Engineering is a multidisciplinary field involving the study of structure, properties, processing and development of materials which find applications in various areas of science and engineering such as chemical, mechanical, civil, electrical, electronic, etc. with significant media attention to nanoscience and nanotechnology in the recent years. Material science has been propelled to the forefront of the university's courses. Today, the Department of Material Science and Engineering of the University of Morotua is the foremost institution for academic and practical work in this field in Sri Lanka. Its high-tech research opportunities for both undergraduate and postgraduate fields of study, as well as collaboration with Sri Lankan industries, has made it the institution of choice for Sri Lankan materials engineering applications. In the year 2000, with the introduction of the semester system of education in the university and the simultaneous commencement of a material engineering course with minor specialization in polymer engineering, the student intake was increased to its present figure of 50. A degree in material sciences and engineering opens the door to many careers. The department's courses is encompassed in its mission statement to provide the undergraduates with opportunity to acquire specialized knowledge on the development and processing of engineering materials with attention to economic and environmental aspects while studying design, management and information technology. This expertise has led to our courses and graduates being sought after worldwide. I am Kasun Vidhanapathirana from Rahul College, Mathura. From my childhood, I was so much concerned about how things work. So even when I was in the college, I was so much uh, inquisitive about nanotechnology and the new technologies of electronics and computing. And uh, I wanted to know how computer components are working inside themselves. Uh, nanotechnology combined with semiconductors and other fields are the main area that I want to study. The Department of Material Science and Engineering is the one and only field in Sri Lanka uh, that we can study about matter uh, in atomic scale. The opportunity that I've got to do my highest studies in the Department of Material Science and Engineering with friendly staff and genius lecturers and friends in an enjoyable environment is a fortune that I've got in my life. Materials fall into four general categories metals, ceramics, polymers and combinations of different materials called composites. The main concern of materials science and engineering is the use of fundamental and applied knowledge of materials so that materials can be converted into products necessary to or desired by modern society. Material science and engineering is a combination of both those ranging from structural details on the atomic scale through to a large-scale components and manufacturing methods which are more relevant to the present curriculum of our study program. Graduates will thus learn the basics of maneuvering their way through the complex world of materials. I'm Hansini Sitnamalu, a level 3 student of the Department of Materials Engineering. I was a student of Visakha Vidyalaya Colombo. 
after doing my levels i got three a's and uh, got the valuable opportunity to enter the faculty of engineering um, after completing my first year i had to select a field among a couple of fields there i had to consider about what will be the opportunities i would get selecting each field and what field is the i like the most uh, in first year we had to cover subject modules conducted by all the departments of the faculty among those the one i liked most was the engineering materials uh, conducted by the department of materials engineering as we say no engineering without materials i felt that this is a very important area in engineering therefore i am glad to be here in the department of materials engineering the only institution of sri lanka provides the knowledge on materials science and engineering in sri lanka the bsc degree program in material science and engineering consists of four levels and spreads over a period of four academic years which includes six months of industrial training level one offers the fundamentals of different engineering subjects level two concentrates on the basics of material science and engineering and allied fields level three enhances the knowledge on materials process technology and applications of engineering materials during semester two of level three students are placed in various industries for an industrial training level four provides in-depth knowledge on selected domains of material science and engineering with adequate knowledge on management and quality assurance a section of material engineers enter industry either the materials industry itself to work on research development and production of materials or the material user industries to advise engineers on the choice and application of materials. I uh, schooled in Nalanda College and in 2004 I got enough marks to go for engineering. In my first year I was immediately drawn to this field of material science because uh, it's such a fascinating field that uh, each step in human civilization is followed by a step in material science. Uh, now, if you take uh, ceramics, polymers, uh, concrete, all these things are, are steps forward taken in material science. If I say that nanotechnology is the new material science, uh, both nanotechnology and material science are fascinating fields and my future ambition is to follow on those paths. Information technology is yet another diverse field they find employment in. Yet others join teaching and lecturing posts at higher educational institutes. Also, with the growing complexity of industrial processes, there is demand for managers, administrators and advisors who can analyze the complex problems of the industry on the foundation of a solid knowledge gained from a branch of technology such as materials engineering. I had dreamed to become a material engineer from my childhood and I happy to say that I achieved my target with the help of uh, the material engineering department of University of Moratua. I am a materials engineering graduate uh, from University of Moratua. My materials engineering knowledge uh, greatly helped me to uh, contribute this industry. The Department of Material Science and Engineering offers the following postgraduate degrees. Doctor of Philosophy, full-time or part-time by research. Master of Philosophy, full-time or part-time by research. Master of Science, full-time by research. A Master of Science, part-time, taught courses. The dedicated staff, both academic and technical, are the foundation of the degree program's success. The department boasts of a highly qualified and trained faculty that not only caters to academic needs but also to the materials engineering industry of Sri Lanka. We are the only department in Sri Lanka which offers a BSc engineering degree programs in the field of materials engineering. 
the field of materials engineering is a well established field of engineering in most of the developed and developing countries and is gaining more and more attention in Sri Lanka with the expansion of local industrial sector in the fields of ceramics, polymers and metals. Materials engineers graduating from our university have found employment in many industrial organizations in both government and private sector. The Society of Materials Engineers Sri Lanka, established on the 20th of December 2003 at the University of Mortua, is the primary organization bringing together the country's materials engineers. The materials science and engineering program is designed to meet modern international standards. It is complete with an annually updated student handbook, a partner website, and even a society of materials engineering students that meets to share experiences, resolve issues, and participate actively in the materials engineering industry. I'm Sarat Malawarachi, uh, Chief Operating Officer, Dankotuga Porcelain PLC. After my school career, I entered the University of Maratua in 1976 and followed a degree course in materials engineering. After graduation, I joined Ceylon Ceramics Corporation as a management trainee. The department does not focus on academic and research activities exclusively. It provides valuable services and advice to the materials engineering sector, especially in the fields of metals, ceramics and polymers. The testing facilities of the department are complete with state-of-the-art equipment that is guaranteed to serve the needs of constantly evolving industries. The department is constantly involved with the practical applications of this field, offering consultancy services to research institutes, state organizations, industries and the security forces. Short courses are conducted to enhance the knowledge and skills of personnel who need technical